and go to J Jamal Staten. I mean, he's been busy but the, tonight. The, I mean, really, Steve, well, what do you say? We, Let the video speak. We've really missed We've really missed this guy's ability to be able to stretch defense. You him right there with the, with the trifecta. Look at him. He can shake and bake, step back, knock down another trifecta. He moves the ball well. Look at him going to, filling up the lane uh, with the putbacks and everything. You got to like uh, Staten. We really missed him. Welcome back, Ireland. <laughs> yes, as I stated, Antoine Jobert from the University of Michigan, basketball fame back in the uh, late 80s. Uh, he Glenn and, Rice with all those guys back and, there, Terry Mills and that crew, a lot of those, a lot of those Michigan guys. Uh, he and Bowser's own Dennis Hobson put on a lot of wars in the Ohio State Michigan games. Uh oh, look, we got a little tussle out here, and they will call the turn over the other way for the Toledo Ice. Actually, uh, <laughs> an interesting call there against Jason Shaw. Well, Shaw had locked up with Ahalegbe. But Ahalegbe is very strong in the upper body. As you see, just, just shove him to the ground there and nail the trifecta right on cue. There you have it, 44, 26 now. With the jumper there from Ahalegbe. And everybody's shot is clicking right now. This can only spell doom for the opposition when the ice are playing defense like they are. And producing turnovers, hitting their outside shots. Getting in the passing lanes, you see everything is being opposed right now. Nothing easy for the ice, and you have to like that if you're Coach Melvin Newber. Get a look at Coach right there with the Gatorade towel. I guess he figures perspiration could come into play, or maybe he just feels like he's back in the game. Maybe that's what he needs to feel like he's on the court. I tell you, he's, he's going with the John Thompson towel there. There's Mitchell with the spin move. That won't go. Out of bounds, we will stay here at Detroit's end. Great effort right there, just loses it out of bounds, does Mel Staten. Inside right now, the fadeaway jumper is no good from Brandon Gates. But you see, Sanders Re pushed him away from the basket. Rebound, Sanders. Ball up the floor to Ahaligba, the pull up. That will rattle home. <laughs> Think he's feeling it right now? I guess so. I mean, the ice have to be feeling it as a unit, and right now the wheels might be coming off for Detroit. As we look here again at Gates, handling shot up again, and that one is good from Jason Shaw. Well, Shaw ends the string right there with the trifecta. You say down the base again from that baseline. He'll back down, spin it way again. This time the shot touches nothing but air. And here come the wheels rolling up the floor. Pull up, Gates. Nothing doing. Here's State. Back to Bates. Bates, beautiful reverse on the other side of the rim. Right hand, Aaron Bates. He is busy as well. I don't know who you say, Steve. I mean, everybody seems to be right in the flow. It's a team effort. You see them running together, running, jumping out on runouts. Missed baskets, made baskets. These guys are looking to get to the rack. Dave Myers right there trying to make something happen, and he's fouled. And that foul is going to be on Ahalegba as he goes to the bench, and Lionel Armstead will re-enter the ball game while Willie Mitchell goes out for the wheels, and we will bring in Jordan Sabor for the wheels. Also, you can add Reggie Riley to that list. And leaving the game, just like that, is Dave Myers. Here's a steal from Armstead, the pickoff off the inbound. Hands off. Staten. Shot no good from deep. Ball bounces out of bounds. It'll be Detroit basketball. That's a good job right there. For L.A., Lionel Armstead dropping it off to Jamil Staten, who was trailing three-point opportunity. So here are the wheels. Back on the attack. Gates will penetrate the lane. Has some trouble. Regains the basketball, but that time going to the basket is unable to finish. 
I tell you, Andre, when your big 6'11 guy dies on the floor like that, that starts to fall down to everyone. All 12 men will dive after the ball. That's just a great team effort. That effort, Steve, right now is really paying handsomely for the Toledo Ice. He's near by. Wheels want something down low. Turnovers happening inside the key, unable to handle the passes right now. As you see, Myers, who we thought was gone, but is actually back and will be going to the foul line now. Well, he got bailed out on this one because it looked like the big fella had both arms up. Here's a look at Dave Myers. That's, 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 that's strange because they call that foul actually on Jamal Staddy, who really wasn't in the play there. He fell out of Dearborn, class of 04. Has some ABA experience as well, as we see Jeremy King re entering the contest. 426 to play, folks. 48 to 30 is your score. Second period. And you have Dave Myers right now at the foul line. Shot up, shot good. Make that 48 31. The pressure, double team, full court from Detroit. It's broken. Here's King up to Bates. Bates will finish you. Oh, that was that was the first real dunk of the season. Let's move on. Was it ever? Left handed as well. In oh transition. Boy. Oh boy. Here's Myers. Nothing happening on the baseline. Hayes moving very slow like Isaac Hayes would get that jumper in your face. Oh boy, Hayes has been real solid. You see him there step back. Ten points for Paul Hayes. Armstead back down. Looking for the screen. Here's the screen from Jones to the corner. King down, back to Bates. He'll back down, wants to work. This time he turns it over. Here's a steal from Shaw. Shaw straight to the rack. Nothing happening. Rob Sanders with the pickoff. And here's Bates again. Oh, this time he's fouled very, very hard. And he goes to the floor. <laughs> uh, that's a good job right there for to helping him up. Good sportsmanship. Uh, Bates on. Bates on the leak out right here. You see him on the leak out. This is the one before as he goes up and jams it down. And that's Toledo Ice basketball, folks. And guess what? It's cold. 